letting nobody snuff my voice out, okay? So if you're here and you're watching, thank you for staying, okay? Thank you for staying. If you're like, this is not what I want, I want you to talk shit, I'm not doing that anymore. We're not doing that. This is a good vibes, I'm just trying to live my life type of shit. I'm just here. I'm just being. So good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I said that. Um It's been a minute. It's been a long time. It's been a while. It's been a second. <laughs> but um I'm going to do some yoga. I just woke up. I ate. So now it's yoga time and then we can get back to this when I have my cup of tea. So, it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I like watching um, this YouTuber. Her name is Black Yogi Nico. And um, I started watching her because um, I'll also pop it on screen. But, but I started watching her because as a black woman, as a black person, um, it, it just feels like the yoga industry is kind of oversaturated with people. And same thing with um, Pilates. I found a black Pilates instructor. So it was just nice to find someone who looked like me doing this. And it didn't feel like I was watching um, a Gwyneth Paltrow goop yoga thing. If you understand what I'm talking about, then good. If you don't, I don't really care. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and do my little yoga thing. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Okay. Let's talk about this. So, as you know, um, I disappeared for like a long time. <laughs> and I'm gonna walk you through what happened. In uh, 2020, um, I was just very busy. We already know this, school is a lot of work. I was working damn near full time um, and just doing all the extracurricular activities. I kind of fell off of what, um, you know, off of everything. Like I fell off of everything. It was just a lot. Like me trying to figure out how to balance all that with COVID was a lot. So fast forward, I, finally you know finish that semester up and I'm like okay I feel like I can come back and see you know what's been going on and I log back in and everything and then it was just too much it was a lot of drama I was getting tagged and stuff I didn't even know what was going on missing that much that much I think I missed like four or five months of the fast moving pace whatever I, w I was lost I didn't know what was going on so I was just like this is a lot so I went through and muted a bunch of people unfollowed a bunch of people not because i don't like them or anything i just i i wanted to get away from that and yeah i want i wanted to get away from that so you know i'm just trying to live my best life whatever all this stuff and summer hits and that's when i my depression i got so depressed girl i'm not even gonna lie i got so depressed and that was the longest few months of my life it felt like every day was just dragging and if you ever had depression you know what I'm talking about where it's like why is everything moving so slowly like what is going on it was wild so fast forward into September of 21 after being just depressed for just god knows how long I uh, Baker acted myself in September. Now, uh, wherever this lands, I know a lot of my subscribers or whatever are still in that realm. And people like to like make fun of people when they talk about this stuff. I know I have talked about my bulimia on Twitter before and people were making fun of it. Um, I'm very proud of myself because now I'm very sure of myself. I don't care if that's the energy you want to put out 
it's going to come back to you. That's just what, you know, it is. So I been corrected myself. I did, you know, I made my decision. Um, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder type 2 um, and insomnia. So after that, after coming back, um, uh, after that, I like logged out of Twitter. I logged out of everything because I realized that I was putting a lot of myself into, into online. And, um, I'll link the video somewhere, but I was watching a video by CJ the X. I hope I'm saying his thing right. Where he was talking about like our generation is so intertwined with online that like, our, like part of our soul is online and for me I would say that it wasn't part of my soul it was a lot <laughs> it was a lot like I'm walking around stressed out because people I've never met on the internet are ruining my life quote unquote but no one in my actual life knows what is going on and I'm just living in this dark void this dark circle this just it influenced by other people's energy that I never met you know and it was affecting my in-person relationships like I it was just affecting it so I backed out of Twitter backed out of everything I went through my Instagram unfollowed a bunch of people made it so the only thing that was popping up on my feed was like stuffed animals and stuff like that. Like I just cleared out everything. And I went through my subscription list. I unfollowed a bunch of people. I just wanted certain things. I, I just wanted certain things to be on my feeds because it's very easy to go down a rabbit hole of, oh, I'm gonna follow this person. And then YouTube recommends you another person talking about the same thing. And then they recommend you this, this, this. And then all you have you know, on your YouTube or Instagram or Twitter, just negative ass like stuff, just negative. And even if they're not talking about you or, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with you, it's still that negative energy that has just been being thrown in your face all the time. So <laughs> I kind of backed off of that. I decided I was like, I can't do this anymore. So I went on my little, on a spiritual journey. I was also already a very spiritual person. Um, I've been like that since I was 14, but I was like, I need to actually get my shit together. I can't just be like, oh, I'm spiritual, whatever. And I'm not doing the work. The whole thing with spirituality is doing the work. So I really started getting into my meditation, journaling, you know, yoga. I have been doing that, but it wasn't consistent and it wasn't with an intention. So I started doing that. Like I said, I started becoming more sure of myself, more sure of who I am. As you can see, new shaved my hair, pierced, got some piercings. Like I literally am just like, this is me. When I realized that I was like, girl, I'm coming back. So I came back on the Twitter and everything. And for a couple of months, I was like, I wanna come back to YouTube. I wanna come back. Cause before everything happened, this was a, a hobby. Like it started off as my uh, weight loss channel which I know some of y'all gonna say, oh my God, you're talking shit about XYZ people and you gain weight. Yes, yes I did. It's depression weight, okay? And guess what? It's coming off. So, <laughs> and also guess what? I don't know. <laughs> but it started out it was my weight loss channel. And um, like I mentioned before, I had bulimia, undiagnosed uh, bipolar disorder, it was just a lot. So I was kind of doing this. It was a hobby, but also in the back of my mind, it was like, let me try to please everybody. Everybody's complaining about all these people not doing X, Y, Z. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And it kind of fed into all that negativeness, right? And then 2020 happened and I'm still there. Look, I am pro Black Lives Matter, uh, pre-capitalism, uh, all right? <laughs> so uh all that stuff in 2020 happened and it just became like it's very frustrating when you are truly trying to like help people but and like explain things 
<sighs> but it's just like, I, I realized that in this fear of where I was trying to do this, these people, it, this is at this point is like, this is their job, right? And clickbait, fun titles, drama. I mean, we all watch the Kardashians. We all watch these reality shows. This is just reality TV on YouTube. So it was like, I'm trying to put my heart and soul and actual like issues out into this area and people are twisting it, you know, and in the same turn, I started falling into that, right? I, I mean, if you remember, people were like, oh, you're calling everybody racist. Like, and people kept saying that over and over. And I was like, well, damn, I guess I am. But I'm, I'm, I wasn't, you know what I mean? I just fell into that area and it just got so messy. And I'm very, I'm disappointed in myself for letting people push me into that drama sphere when it was real topics. Like I still have my NAACP president's uh, live stream up. Like it was, we were talking about some real shit that we go through as black people. And I let these random people profiting off of drama because that's what they are. They're profiting off of drama, get your coin, you know, steer me in a different direction. So I just went dark. I was scared to talk about this. I made another video where I was explaining stuff like this and I was like, no, I can't put it out. I'm not letting nobody snuff my voice out, okay? So if you're here and you're watching, thank you for staying, okay? Thank you for staying. If you're like, this is not what I want, I want you to talk shit, I'm not doing that anymore. We're not doing that. This is a good vibes, I'm just trying to live my life type of shit. I'm just here, I'm just being. Like my, my channel name says, Sonder. Sonder is a word uh, and it's derived from the Obscure Sorrows book, meaning everybody, every passerby is living their own experience, their own lives, right? And that's what I'm trying to do over here. This is literally the Sonder Life vlog. You're watching me, a passerby, living her life, okay? The ups, the downs, the whatever, the whatever that's what this is and like i said I'm, I'm very disappointed in myself for letting people snuff that out because i was scared and what am i scared about like i said i got sucked into this and this drama and people were ruining my life and people in my actual life didn't know so what am i scared about if this is one of my outlets this is one of my outlets is painting if painting is one of my outlets that is one of my outlets if TikTok or my business or whatever is one of my outlets as one of my outlets and no one can take that away from me. So I'm back and if you like it, welcome back. If you don't, I understand, you know, this is not what it used to be. And the only constant is change. So I cannot tell you in a year, this will be the same shit. <laughs> and if you're here to compare voices and compare how I talk to random Anons on the internet and here to just whatever. Do what you need to do, girl. Get your coin, okay? These gas prices went up. If you need to do whatever you need to do to help people go to your channel, do it. But just remember, karma's a real thing. So anyway, I need to go get ready. I have work. I, oh, whole other thing. Skip, skipped a bunch of stuff. My apartment had rats. I had to move because my, my rent went from 980 to 1500. My apartment had rats. They weren't getting rid of them. Blah, blah, blah. They now I'm back home. <clears throat> the end. Anyway, <laughs> I have a new job. Oh my gosh, my knees. Hold on. I have a new job. So I'm going to get ready for that and then go. I have to get gas and stuff before I go there. And I also want to get, I want to get coffee, but I also have been drinking Celsius's. Um, I'll tell you about my new job in the car. Eh. The only album I've been listening to, look. And if y'all know about look, the Andrew Tate drama, I, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I said Beyonce was talking about the Andrew Tate 
manosphere when she said it must be the cash because it ain't your face. I need to go. <laughs> okay. I'm at work. When you go into work, do you ever just like um get there early to sit in the car and like prepare yourself? Because me, bitch, that's me. I just gotta think about my life. Anyway, I don't. So I used to work at Alta. Now I work at Orange Theory, which is nice because I get to go uh, work out here for free. So that's fun. Um, it's a pretty easy job, pretty fun job. And yeah, oh, look, okay, y'all, don't eat me up, okay? Don't eat me up in the comments or on Twitter for not having good angles, okay? I'm, I'm just getting back into this. Don't come for me. Don't come for me about that. Okay, yeah, I'm just sitting here. I have my little Alani and where is these bars i've been loving recently these little quest bars that was upside down these little quest bars girl they'll fill you up so i got that i got my little gum because i always need gum Some, i guess this isn't many what's in my purse i have a notebook because i like writing down my to-do list when i walk when i go into work um, I have two books. I have this horror book, which I'm almost done with. I literally have like 20 pages left because when I'm done doing what I need to at work, which usually takes me like an hour, hour and a half at most, I like to read. Um, then I'm, I started this one, Autobiography. I know I'm really late on this. I feel like I got this two years ago and I just haven't read it. So I'm about to read this. I'm, well, I started reading it. Um, water. I was gonna have this is a half gallon of water. And yeah, that's what I'm working with. I'm probably gonna like DoorDash some food or something later because I'm here till 5:45 and it is 10:57. So I'll probably DoorDash lunch. I'm gonna go into work and clock in. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's rest day. I just did my walk. I am running the back because my legs hurt. I'm about to do this mask. I've been doing this for a while. Um, it's the Amazon Amazon Aztec clay mask. And I like to use it in many I use the apple cider vinegar in the mixture. morning today we are going to fau to um table because they have me want to charter there so um i did my makeup just a little bit and i have my shirt seized period it's been a minute and um i'm about to go get some coffee and then um i'll be going on the road with my profite miss courtney i miss her so much i'm very excited though and I decided I was going to take you guys along because I didn't really do anything yesterday but go to work. Um, so I thought, I was like, okay, let's go on an excursion because I'm going on one. So why not take you all? So let's go. Hello. Ah! It's been forever. It's been a minute. It's been a whole minute. It's been a whole minute. And now I'm back. Not at the same school, but I'm back.
home and as you can see the dogs are here you can see right in the back i i'm tired and this is the last of the vlog i was gonna stop vlogging yesterday but i really didn't do anything so i was like let me show y'all me doing like sorority stuff because that's a big part of my life so that's what i did and now i'm home and i'm tired and I need to take my makeup off and I need to go OUT with the dogs. And yeah, so I'm just gonna have a day to my, a night to myself because I was, when did I leave? I left at seven and I we were there until 4.30, uh, until four. That it was from 12 to four was the event, but I left here at seven. And then we, uh, <laughs> like eight we did a little bit of stroll practice and then we had to drive home so now it is seven o'clock 7 48 almost eight and i'm tired i just want i just want to read my book take my lashes off and go to sleep so we're gonna end it here hi sorcia hi mama we're gonna end it here hi and <laughs> girl hi i just want to say thank you guys for watching again if you um, stay in long, hello. Um, if you're leaving, I understand. And if you're new, what's up? And um, yeah, I'll see. Red is killing me right now. Sorcia, you're killing me too. I'll see. I'll see y'all in the next one.